Hey everybody, good morning. Anybody else have stage fright out there? Anybody get sweaty palms? Anybody have their heart race when they have to speak in front of a crowd? If you are one of those unique individuals who can walk on stage in complete relaxed state of mind, I applaud you. You can count yourself one of the lucky. And this is for the this video is for those people who maybe have a hard time <laughs> with it, playing live, playing in front of anybody. And I want to let you know that I am one of those people that have struggled with performance anxiety for years. And I want to share with you some of the things that have helped me get past it. And I'm going to give you the number one thing here if you watch. The number one thing that has helped me and helps me to this day in a minute, I'll let you know, but hang on. If you're one of those people and you want to know what my tips are, I'm going to give you the number one and I'm going to go down from there. And also, I would like to share, um, if there's anybody out there watching this at any time, this is a live video right now, but number one, please share your tips of things that have helped you. Let's 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 uh, circulate a video where the people that have this creative intellect, where the people that have this sensitivity can help each other and know that they're not alone, okay? So I want to share this now and share it on the left-hand side, press share, or anytime you want to be notified when I make a video, I'm making videos now, and I'm also fundraising for Swan Songs. If you see the link below there, Swan Songs is a local organization that helps people in their last days with musical performances to comfort them. Uh, I have performed a lot of swan songs over the years in Austin, Texas, and I encourage you to check out that inform information in the link below. And I'm back on now. So how many of you, yes, how to calm those nerves, my number one tip. So I was just on TV this morning with Wendy Colonna and Hans Bielger, and there isn't, I wouldn't say there isn't, I'd say there are performances now where it, it doesn't even come up for me. I don't even, it doesn't even cross my mind. But there are some situations where, you know, it's a very, very big audience. Uh, there's a lot of lights and I can't see. I'm looking out into a sea of darkness where it does trigger some fear in me. Or if I'm about to go on stage and I'm backstage and there's this big buildup where I'm having to wait and other people are performing before me. Um, what I have found, the number one thing for me that helps is basically I've just given up... Uh, the idea that I'm going to master it someday. I've given up on the, I've let go, not given up. I've let go of the idea that I might one day have no nerves. And just that letting go and being okay with being nervous, being okay with the nerves creates this new opening where my mind isn't fixed on it anymore. And not anymore, but isn't fixed on it in a really panicky way. So, this morning, when we were about to go on, on TV, all the lights are focused and the cameras are focused on me, the thoughts did come up. And I just observed the thoughts. The thoughts, the what ifs started coming in. The what if, what if, what if, what if. And I just had this gentle feather-like attachment. Not attachment, but, I, but I, I looked at the thoughts, I, I acknowledged them, and I said, that's okay. And the next thing I do, because it's a lot lower than it used to be, that performance anxiety, I thank that those nerves, I think the world or the universe, that those nerves are there to bring that excitement to a performance so that I channel that and I look at my musicians that I'm with and I'm grateful for that connection and the music we're about to make and I think that I, it's very helpful for, for me to channel those nerves and it really makes the moment feel special, like a really special moment and therefore there now I'm feeling the joy so that's my number one tip. And number one tip is, is to just be okay with it. And, and as long as you don't obviously have any health problems, if your heart's beating fast, if you're having sweaty palms, you just tell yourself, oh, that's fine. That's, that's, I'm in the moment and it's okay. And this too shall pass. And if you start doing that, you're gonna gradually notice your relationship with your nerves is going to change over time. It may take some time. And, and you're gonna actually start looking forward to performing and being comfortable on stage and you will have performances where those thoughts don't even come up ever. So as somebody who used to have unbelievable nerves when I was a kid, I'd even 
question whether I was going to go into music and maybe I needed to have some other career. So I want you to know that it's possible to heal yourself. You also, number two tip is, is start practicing when you're on stage or when you're doing a performance or when you are speaking before a crowd. If you notice that you're calm, re give your brain some feedback. Say, wow, I'm really calm now. And look out at the audience and look at people and connect with them. Find somebody in the audience. This is what David Glazer told me. Find that one person that you're performing for and connecting with and really take in that moment of peace and tranquility. And you'll start training your brain. That's right. So you guys take care. Um, that's my...